At noon today, I'm going to be picking up a new addition to the farm. Here's a hint. Her name is Daisy May. Just yesterday, I finished setting the last of these posts in concrete. We've got a few days of dry weather ahead of us, so they'll have plenty of time to cure before the next step of fencing. We wanted to wait on getting our next animal until we could have a more peaceful environment, so we were particularly keen on waiting until the trenching work was done. That big excavator and the skid steer and the, the stone saw and the jackhammer, that would not be a good peaceful environment for a new animal to get used to our new farm. Are you sad to see the goat go? Are you gonna miss her? Or you got other ones? Got so many goats, it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, this is Daisy May. Yeah. We call her blue, call her Daisy. She has multiple names. Yeah, she's got that color. Yeah, yeah. She's got that color. <laughs> and she's five, and she's the sweetest girl. She's 100% trained mm -hmm. to the stand. She'll hop right on. She's a good girl. And this little man has milked her. She's a good trainer, <laughs> training goat, because she's so calm up there. Yeah. Honoring as heck, like all ghosts. We are, uh, that's one of the selling points for us, you know, because we had a heck of an experience, a heck of an experience trying to milk indigo, our Nubian goat, for the first time. First time was. Oh my, yeah, yeah. oh my goodness. You'll love her, Oh my goodness. Especially when you show her the stand and she just like pops up and you're like, holy cow, like you're the best goat in the world. <laughs> nice. Yeah, because she's, nice. yeah. Yeah, she's she a good girl. We'll miss her though. I and the only reason we're getting rid of her is because she's not registered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got, she's, she's got quite an operation here, and <laughs> she's getting up to the point where she's thinking yeah. about showing and having that level of, of expertise. Yeah, and if you get yeah. in the showmanship, you can't say it's only registered because they need all those lineages and paperwork. Yeah. That's yeah. the only reason she's going. We've thought about it for years and years, and we've made the decision. Yeah. How many what? goats all, all together do you have? Do you even know at this point? There, there's four. I, there's fourteen, but I've sold a couple, so <laughs> <laughs> I sold. I sold a couple. Like they come and they go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've sold a couple. I think. I think there's like now after her, there might be thirteen. All right. I, I'm gonna go count after you leave. Though. <laughs> I think there's thirteen. Though. <laughs> yeah, I think. I think it's thirteen after she leaves. Right, well, thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Yeah, we're excited to see her. Mhm. Mm yeah, Daisy May is just what we were looking for. Mhm. Mm I've got some water in there for her now. She's eating hay. We're going to keep her in the trailer until tonight. Then we'll separate her into one of the stalls, probably with indigo. Keep her in there for a few days just to make sure she's doing just fine. The big news about Daisy May is she's already pregnant. She's due to have kids in a couple months. This will be good for our expanding herd. It's good to get new genetics in. Hope you like your new home. I have to apologize. The microphone bounces in front of the camera lens a little bit. I'm still getting used to a new camera case and microphone configuration, but I think I've got it figured out now.
big thing now. Yeah. <laughs> I want out. Look at all those leaves out there ready for me to eat. So what do you want more from her, boys or girls? Well, I want one boy and two girls. That's a tall order, Daisy May. You get that? Did you take some notes? And if she has two girls, I can breed them and her to boo boo, right? And then, um, <coughs> oh, and then a boy. I can breed to indigo. Come on, Dizzy. <laughs> Good go. We decided to let her out in the backyard, give her a little more room. So she is an unregistered Nubian, but she has been bred to a registered Nubian. Back in the trailer. Wendy was concerned that the goat's poop didn't look quite right, so for the next day or so, she's gonna just keep an eye on her. They'll just have to hang out here for a while by herself. Yeah. Goats don't like to be by themselves, but she's doing all right. The previous owner mentioned that she oftentimes kind of hung out by herself in the field anyway, so I'm not too worried on that front. It is a good idea to keep a new goat separated from your herd for a little while, just in case there's any kind of, a, kind of an issue. You don't want to You don't want to have something wrong with the goat and spread that to the rest of your herd. Mouthful, isn't it?
good stuff though. It started raining outside and Daisy Mae has come up to our porch to get out of the rain. Eros, what do you think about the goat out there? What do you think? All right, Wendy wants me to put the goat back into the trailer while she... Where are you going now? Crazy goat. Wendy wants me to put her back in the trailer where she'll stay dry. Poor little goat. Are you ready to meet the new goat indigo? What do you think? Excited to have another playmate? What about you, Sienna? Would you like another playmate? Yub yub. I probably don't care. But your girl wants to see the new goat. It's been pretty fun the last couple of days. Bonding with our new goat. I got to spend some time with Wendy. It's kind of surprising. Wendy kind of does her own things out here and I'm kind of doing my own thing. So we're not spending a whole lot of time together. But being able to hang out with the goat was kind of a nice, a nice change of pace. It's time to introduce Daisy May to the rest of the goats. It's okay. That's just Indigo's way of saying hello. Indigo, you're used to being the biggest goat. You be nice to Daisy May. It's okay, Daisy Mate. These are your new herd mates. This is your new herd. Valkyrie, you can say hello to her. Goats. Usually our goats just take off for the pastures when I open that gate. Definitely an interruption to their routine with this new goat.
Daisy May keeps wanting to spend time with me, I think I'm uh, getting in the way of her bonding with the new herd. I'm just going to leave her alone out here. We'll check on her later. She still wants to follow me around. Well, you are a lovey dovey goat. Yes. It's very sweet, but I'm not sure it's normal goat behavior. You should be a normal goat. Play with your friends. Well, hello, Daisy May. Hello. You're a good goat. No, let's keep going. I saw her, she was with the other goats up there. So that's a good thing. But she is still super friendly. One of our friendliest goats, I think. Aren't you? Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on, goats. Yep, no wait, I got both hands full here. Hold on. All right, come on. Striker, Clyde, come here, Finnick. Come on. Equal <laughs> manners, boys. Yeah, why can't you all be like blue? Daisy May wears the bell, but I still think Indigo is a little more dingy. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.